Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get top level of every career, complete all of the aspirations, max every skill, complete all the collections and do everything you can do for a single sim. Carla's just here trying to get her dates over with. We had to earn three dates with our spouse and do 50 romantic gestures. And then we'll probably move on to the more questionable romance aspirations. And I did have someone leave me some more romantic interests for Carla at the, in the gallery. So thank you very much. Meanwhile, all our homework is done and we don't have a job currently. I think I'm going to put that on hold just because I also need to start doing the family aspirations pretty soon. Okay, that's one goal date. Yes, you're sitting right here, but I must call you on the phone to make a date. I guess there's a romantic interaction for that too. Um, yeah, I could have done it that way. I forgot. Okay, and that's date number two. We are speed dating here. I'd like to think that this is just one date that is a really, really long date. Okay, why are people butting in on my conversation? It was going swimmingly until now. Okay, becoming playful when I'm also very flirty from a celeb you serum. I don't think that's going to happen. Hopefully it doesn't matter because I don't have to complete all of the goals. Okay, and that's three dates. Now we just have to perform 50 romantic gestures with our spouse as soulmates, which means we cannot lose any romance yet. Let's get out of here. The paparazzi are starting to be annoying now. Now we can't get Carla pregnant because a lot of the things that Carla does requires her to go to a rabbit hole, especially when getting promotions and going to class for university. And if for some reason she goes into labor while she's at class or work, it will send her home. So I'm not going to get her pregnant. We're just going to have science babies. Okay, there are other aspirations we can work on in the meantime. This Kiss 10 Sims, I can kiss him and get credit for one of those. So we'll run through those real quick and make sure we have done everything that we can do with Hayden. I don't know if I have to have the soulmate aspiration active though. Okay, so it says 20. If I change it to a different aspiration, and then see, I have this go on three dates with a partner sim. So maybe I could go on three dates with Hayden again. I just want to see if I flirt or do something if I get credit for the soulmate one. Because the soulmate one is the one that I really need to complete. No, it does not say 21. Great. So I can't multitask these. I could do the three gold dates at the same time because I was on the same aspiration. But no, I'm just going to have to do it the boring way. We'll run through some romance interactions really quick. Okay, hopefully this is the last one. That was painful. I know you're supposed to do these slowly, but Carla's on a speed run here. All right, we've completed the soulmate aspiration. Okay, we're just seeing if we can eavesdrop here and discover a secret to advance our seeker of secrets aspiration. No secrets here. Okay. Hey, okay, we need to eavesdrop. I know there's people in there. I populated this house with the four Sims from I Really Can't Game. Okay, so now we need to break into a home and find a tiger inspection badge. Well, since we're here, we might as well start a break in since that's one of the tasks. And maybe we'll try and find a secret or two. But I really think that the only thing that we really need to do is find a tiger inspection badge. And in order to do that, you have to go to Tomarang during the night and try to break into the tiger sanctuary. Okay, so Anita is one of the Sims here in this household. Her name is Anita Willard. And she has amazing compatibility with Carla. That's good, but she also is liar, liar, pants on fire. And the other sim we found a secret about is Boa Lee, I think. 
So he has aiding and abetting and also amazing compatibility with Carla. So we'll see how this goes. Carla's neutral to both of these, but I think it's because she really has no romantic preferences yet. Okay, here's the sanctuary. We're going to sneak in and see if we can get this tiger inspection badge. I'm not sure if we can get one on the first try or not. Okay, I've had this one before. This is actually how I got it last time. I made a sneaky dash for the employee room and we found the tiger inspection badge. I can't believe Carla was that lucky. Okay, now that we've finished our Seeker of Secrets aspiration, I think the next one is Villainous Valentine. And the problem with that is that we have to break up 10 couples. We've already done one, but I edited my club so that we actually have the requirement that they have to be married. But the problem is that even though these are all married couples, you have to divide the number by two because they're married to each other. So there's only four more couples in the game. And that's because we deleted a lot of Sims when Carla was working on one of her teenage aspirations. So there's not that many married couples in the game anymore. So we'll start a gathering and we also don't have a career right now. I'm not sure if I really want to mess with the careers because we're going to try and do the family thing right now. Well, unfortunately, some of these people are elders, so they might be ready to expire, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I'm not going to be romantic. Oh, who hates me? Oh, my ranch hand. Okay, well, that's fine. So maybe if I'm friendly, I can try to influence their decisions i don't know i think it's under the mean interaction though i don't think you can do it and be nice to them oh he's mean he, really he's mean maybe i can get him to break up okay i can ask him to join the household even though it doesn't seem like we're that great of a friendship yeah, I don't see an option to ask him to leave his partner that's friendly. I know you can do it if you become romantically involved with the person, but I don't really want to do it that way yet. Oh, here we go. It's under relationships. They move everything around other Sims and break up with. Okay, so we'll ask him to break up with his wife and see if that works. I don't know if it will work, but if it does, then we will potentially will have a way to do this. Okay, we actually got him to break up with his wife. Okay, so we just have to be friendly with these people and then hopefully they will break up. And okay, so they both broke up. And so we can kick them out of the club because they're no longer married. Oh, it did it for me. Okay. Well, that's easy. You guys can go home now. Well, there's no option for me to send them home. I guess they'll hang around. I think I have to ask them if they're single first because I don't think it gives me the opportunity to break them up if I don't know that they're in a relationship yet. Oh, and everyone is just breaking up. I'm not even having to make really good friends. They're just breaking up with each other. It's kind of mean, but that is what this aspiration is asking me to do. And that's it. I think we broke up our last couple. That was only four. Why didn't I get credit for five? Yeah, Hayden is the only other person in the game that is married. Great. I guess it was only three couples. All right, well, we're going to have to get some more Sims married so that we can break up couples. I think it counts if you break up a girlfriend and boyfriend, but I don't think there's a way for me to find those people through clubs. They have to be married. All right, we do have school at 8 a.m., so I'm not going to do anything else with that for the moment. Hayden, why don't you go take care of the chickens? Well, there's still some food over here, so they should be fine for that. And we have another chick that hatched. And we have this one that's hatching sometime tomorrow, maybe. 
Oh, we got another rooster chick. Well, we have so many roosters now. I guess we're not going to get that many eggs. It's fine. Okay, it said Naomi went out on a date with someone. So maybe she's in a relationship? Oh no. I think I'm going to have to lock the chickens out of the house. Not because I don't like the chickens, but because the ranch hand feeds the chickens directly instead of putting it next to the coop. And that's kind of annoying to have chicken feed everywhere in my house. Okay, Carla is home. Maybe we'll ask her to come over and see if we can break her up with whoever she's going out with. Okay, we'll ask her if she's single, but she said she went on a date with someone. Yeah, she is single, so I don't think that will work. Yeah, I can only hook her up with someone. Well, maybe I can hook her up with someone and then break her up. Oh, we're not hooking her up with Hayden. Why is that an option? Okay, so we'll try hooking her up with Powell. Now, if they're in the area, they immediately become boyfriend-girlfriend. And, of course, they're not in the area. Well, maybe we'll find out later on that she's dating that person. I think we're kind of stuck on this until we can get some people who are either in a relationship or married. Okay, so the next ones are all the parenting ones. And I kind of wanted to have kids with Hayden first before we ruin things. So we'll go ahead and do that. We should have a science baby. And then Hayden can stay here and take care of the kids while we're out doing our jobs and going to university. Okay, we have a boy. And I'm not sure... I probably should have asked for names, um, but I kind of forgot that I was going to do this. So what is an appropriate name for Carla? No, <laughs> not Yugi. I, I can't say that. I don't even know how that's pronounced. Okay, Peter is fine. I like Peter. Only one? Only one baby. Okay, I didn't have on ley line. And it looks like her fertile trait doesn't matter. I think it's because being fertile actually doesn't help you too much in getting multiple babies. It's the on ley line that makes you get multiple babies multiple times. Okay, so that's good. We have one little baby. I think, however, you have to have a minimum of three children to do the aspirations because you need three kids, but you need four grandchildren. So... I don't know. Maybe we'll just have one kid this time until we get to the point where we need to be friends with three of our children. And we will actually allow them to grow up normally. So we're not going to speed run the kids because they're going to be a little bit of a part of this Let's Play. We will actually wait until their birthdays to age them up. And we have a little pink bassinet for the boy. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so we need to get to level four parenting skill. And the best way to build the parenting skill, honestly, is to use a newborn. So we'll go ahead and drink one of our Celebu serums, which we haven't had to drink in a really long time. And then we'll just play with the baby. And as soon as she picked him up, she was level two. And level three, this is going so quickly. Okay, so we just need to get level four. And then we need to wait until he's a toddler. Okay, well, one interaction basically got us to where we needed to go. All right, next one. Okay, this one requires us to read to a child for two hours and to socialize with our child ten times. I don't know if a baby will count. Does a baby count for that one? It definitely doesn't count for reading to a kid. No, it doesn't count for socializing. Okay, so apparently babies are not able to satisfy the social requirement. All right, so basically this one is kind of on hold until the kids grow up. And like I said, I'm not going to rush that. It'll go quickly as it is. So we're going to start with the appliance whiz aspiration. So we need to get a mixer for this. 
Oh, we have to be inspired. That's going to be a problem. All right. Well, the easiest way to do this is because I have a spellcaster, I can just clear all of her buffs. And then we can take a thoughtful shower and maybe cloud gaze if we have to because we get flirty when Hayden's around. Great. That may be flirty plus two. I'm going to have to drink an inspirational potion. Okay, now I'm inspired and I can go collect the ingredients. I should probably upgrade this mixer as well to make it quicker. Stuart! Okay, once again, I am asking for your support for the sharing is caring neighborhood action plan. Uh, no, I'm going to tell him no way I'm voting the opposite. Stuart is our arch enemy. Okay, now we need to experience sped up cooking five times and collect three prepped ingredients that were made using fresh ingredients. Really? All right, we'll make some cupcakes. All right, what kinds of fresh ingredients can we use? Maybe we can order a delivery. Hayden, order something for me. Okay, now I'm waiting on my food. Is my grocery delivery getting here? Oh, there it is. Okay, now let's see if we can prep using fresh ingredients. It only counts when we collect them though. All right, that's finished. Okay, I decided to go out to the club and meet some people. Maybe we can see if it, anyone is single or taken and then try to break them up. Oh, look, it's our old butler. Maybe we'll hook him up with the bouncer and then break them up. He's definitely single. Okay, let's see if the butler's going out with the B-lister. Um, no, they don't like each other. Oh, well. Okay, I can't get anybody to hook up with anyone else. It's annoying. Everybody is single and they're running off before I can set them up with each other. I don't like how the Sims come and go. It's like you can't say two or three things to them and they just leave. I don't have the option to hook this one up anymore. Is she not single? No, she's single. But all I can do is talk up another Sim and ask about another Sim or trash another Sim. Okay, well, I thought maybe she had actually asked someone out, but no, she didn't. Okay, I got the celebrity to go ask out the bartender who is an elder. If she rejects him... Okay, good. They're going out now. All right, now we can convince him to dump her. <laughs> Which is so wrong. But... That's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. I mean, without manually setting up people. I don't like doing that because that's kind of like artificially creating the win condition for the game. Okay, and so we broke up the couple. We set them up and then we broke them up. I'm so sorry. Oh, she looks so sad. She was going out with a celebrity who's a young guy. Well, he's an adult, not really a, a young adult. So it's not that bad. Oh, it's Peter's birthday. Well, happy birthday to Peter. And when the butler gets done feeding him, I will age him up to an infant. Yay, infants. Quit singing, Carla. Go to class. Okay, I don't throw birthday parties for newborns. You can, but you can, you have to throw a house party and then just age up the newborn. So we're going to have an infant now. Happy birthday, Peter. And Peter's going to be sunny. Oh, he has glasses. Okay. So since he aged up with glasses, we'll go ahead and keep that. And he has platinum hair. I think that's because Carla has pink hair and infants cannot have pink hair. So when he ages up to a teenager, he might actually have the pink hair. Oh, he got Ancient Bloodline and Sulani Mana. And that is because he is Carla's child. He did not get the spellcasterness automatically, though. He would have to become a spellcaster. But I think we'll just keep him a regular sim. All right, now Carla is home from school. Oh, Carla, it appears that Powell Sadia already had someone special. That would have been good to know. I did not know that. Well, there's another one that I can break up. <laughs> Okay. Um, do I know that person, though? 
Um, I do not know if I know that person. I do not. So I can't even go and break him up with whoever he's dating. Okay, well, we'll have to keep an eye out for him and see if we can meet him somewhere for now. Okay, we have Peter with the pierced ears and the glasses. So, ah, uh, I don't know. That's kind of cute because you are an infant, but maybe we should make it match a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just go with the white shirt and the formal wear that we will never see. I don't know. I don't think that formal wear should have a diaper. I mean, if he actually does use formal wear, it shouldn't be a diaper. Really, that's fine for sleepwear. Oh, I forgot his glasses. Okay, so yeah, we are trying to put glasses on every single outfit because if he actually has glasses, I want it to be, okay, he has glasses with all of his outfits now. And we're going to give him the little pierced earrings. So Peter's going to be my little blue boy who likes to wear the fuzzy animal slippers. There we are. I like that outfit. It's a cat and horses, which don't really match, but that's fine. Maybe we can put a hat on him since it's his cold weather outfit. Bunny ears. Oh, that's so cute. All right. And we have the avocado for the summer. And that is Peter. Okay, let's see if we talk to Peter, if that counts as socializing. So do infants count? We can also try reading to him. All right, socializing is not working. Of course, these aspirations are probably not updated for infants with growing together. So it has to be a toddler. Okay, let's see if we can read a book to Peter and have that count. Oh no, socializing did count. It just took a while to update. All right, so we can socialize with an infant and have that count. Does it count if we read to them? She's reading and it's 4.15, so we'll give it until about 5.30 to see if this counts as reading to a child. All right, that did not last very long. It wasn't even close to an hour. So I'm not sure how many times I'm going to have to do this to see if it totals up to an hour. It didn't count for socializing either. Oh, but it looks like I can actually queue it up and she's not doing it because Hayden is doing something with the baby. Don't put him down. Come on, Hayden. I'm trying to read a story and she's going to put him down in another spot. Hayden, go do something else. Read a book. That's your aspiration anyway. Go read some books. All right. Did I get credit for that? Not yet. All right, are you getting tired? Oh, you just need to pee. Go pee. Okay, so how to build a toilet on a 6 -um. I did not know that that was one of the classes I was taking. But okay, we got all A's. So was that the end? Yeah, that's the end. So we should have another degree. Okay, stop crying. And Carla, stop playing video games. Go change your baby's diaper. Why are you going over here to read a toddler book? Your baby is in the other room. <sighs> it's so buggy. Yes, go get him and put him in the same room with you. Okay, well, that's fine. Read it there. Just read a book. That's all I'm asking. Read a book. Okay, I might just give up. And we'll do this when we have toddlers. Because this is ridiculous. Okay, that completes the next step of the appliance whiz aspiration. Now we need to make pleasantly unpleasant waffles. Make a prepped ingredient using a stand mixer with at least one upgrade. Well, we've already done that. And cook two pizzas or waffles at a single gold social event after reaching silver. Okay, that sounds like it might not be too bad. Okay, I think I've found where that guy lives. The one I tried to hook up with that old lady. So we're going to go and meet him and see if he's in a relationship with someone. He's non-committal. Maybe he just made that up? No, he's single. Okay, I think that was just something. Yeah, that's just something that he kind of made 
up, maybe because he didn't want to go out with that other person. But I do not have the ability to hook him up with someone. Maybe because he's in a zone where the only people are his family that's around, so I can't hook him up with anyone. All right, well, that was a waste of time. Oh, it's Winterfest. We should have a nice Winterfest for the family. Okay, it seems like I can only read to the kid if he's already in the crib. Anything else just cancels the interaction while she just picks him up and puts him down and picks him up and puts him down and never reads. I just want to see if this will possibly satisfy the read to a child for two hours goal of this aspiration. Oh, it does. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. What are you asking him to do? No, you're not going to get put down. You're going to go to bed. I don't get this. Why do infants ask to be put down when they need to go to sleep? All right, well, that was painful. When are you going to become a toddler? Oh, next week. Okay, so not until next week. On Sunday... Okay, why is the kid asking me to do something? Just go to sleep. No, don't ask Carla to do something. You're tired. Go to sleep. Try to go night-night. Okay, so Carla hasn't been working on her careers very much, but she does have a computer science degree. So what I think we will do is try to be a freelancer and then do the computer programmer one for the freelancer because that one we already have the degree for. And then the rule for this one is that we have to max the performance bar as a freelance programmer. Okay, for this one, we have to make a game. That might take a while, but it's also the one that pays the most and requires the most programming skill. Oh no, this one requires more. Yeah, this one is probably making another game. Okay, so we'll do the have art need code. Yeah, we have to make a video game. Okay, fine. Oh, Megumi and Sand are officially dating. Okay, so if Megumi and Sand are officially dating, can I ask them to break up? Okay, graduation starts soon, but I don't care. I'm just going to try and see if she's in a relationship. If she says she's single, I am going to be upset. Because it's supposed to make you boyfriend and girlfriend immediately. No, she's not single. Not technically. No, there's not an option to ask her to break up. Ugh, that's so annoying. Now, what does convince boss to give bonus do for a freelancer? Oh, it does give you some performance. I bet that means we can also bribe our boss for performance because for some reason it thinks you have a boss even though you're a freelancer. I guess your clients are your boss, but I don't have the reputation for some reason. I don't know why. It's all the introductions, I guess. My reputation is now bad instead of atrocious, so I can't bribe my boss anymore. Okay, you don't have to read for two hours straight or even one hour straight to get credit for this, but it only reads for maybe 15 or 20 minutes. So you have to do the activity three or four times before you get credit for one hour. And he keeps asking other people to do things for him. Now just go to sleep. Why are you asking someone else to put you down? I don't know why he does that, but it's so annoying. All right, fine. I'm going back to my video game. And then he's just going to cry because he got put down. Oh, he's trying to go night-night on the floor. You could have gone night-night in your crib. Why didn't you do that? It's like he can't go to sleep in the crib. He has to be on the floor to go to sleep. Well, Hayden is a little uh, hysterical, but that should be fine. It doesn't really matter if he dies. Grim is an old buddy of mine, and I have lots of duffed flowers, so it's not a problem. 
sometimes they can be hysterical for quite some time and not die. And sometimes they die immediately. Okay, this time we're going to go to Brightchester and do a fine art degree because we have something that is waiting on that. And that is the fabrication skill, the freelance crafter career, and one of our fabrication uh, master maker aspirations. So that's the next one we're going to do. And then we're just going to continue our freelance programmer career while we're doing that. Oh, well, we really should do our homework. We have class in nine hours. And that is playing nice with others. Okay, unfortunately, Peter is a snuggly sleeper. And I told him to go to sleep. And he woke up and would not go back to sleep. And he was been asleep for a long time and his energy bar is just not going up very fast so i'm not sure quite what's up with that i think that's probably normal and as intended but that's an annoying quirk okay so if i feed him and put him in a back carrier with hayden then hopefully he can sleep oh but he's going to go into the next room where the music is i don't think that's going to work, Hayden. All right, getting rid of the music. You're not allowed to have anything that will wake up the baby because you'll autonomously turn it on. And that is a no-no. Okay, let's see if we can get you to go to sleep in the back carrier and stay asleep. No, don't take him out of the back carrier. You're not allowed. Well, it's in his queue to take him out, but he can't because he's asleep. Okay, how much energy does this provide? Um, same as the bed. It's not great, but it's not the worst either. It just means Hayden can't do anything. Um, <laughs> he sat down in a chair. Okay, I'll let you put him down. We'll wake up the kid because he has to go to the bathroom. All right, take him out. Put him down. Now, don't talk to Carla. Just put him down. So annoying when they won't do what they're told. Okay, we have repaired our bad reputation. And we are now able to bribe our boss for job performance. That doesn't make sense as a freelancer, but I guess we'll go with it. Oh, Hayden wants to be a perfectionist? What is he doing that's going to make him a perfectionist? Sure, that doesn't really matter to me. He's dancing. Okay. I guess being a perfect dancer is what he wants to do. I think it's just because perfectionist is one of the ones that is triggered when you're doing something creative. Although I don't know why dancing is considered creative. I thought maybe he was painting or something. Well, having the baby babble at Carla is also giving me my social interaction milestone. Okay, so Foofy or Foo 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 Foo. Okay, I don't know what that name is, but Lor Lorio. So if we invite them over, maybe we can get them to break up. I want to invite over the person that I know, not the person I hooked them up with. No, there's no option to break him up with anybody. Oh, come on. I guess I can ask him again if he's single, but I don't think that will work. Okay, it says he's single, but he's not. Not technically. Ugh. Okay, whatever. I don't think that works unless they're in the same zone when I ask them. It seems like if they're not in the same zone, it doesn't actually make them boyfriend and girlfriend. For some reason, she can't seem to finish this video game. She's like almost finished and it's just not popping up. Every time the bar completes, she just continues working on it. I don't know if I'm going to be... Oh, there we go. Finally, I finished it. We'll call this Carla Dance Dance Revo. All right. So that was... Oh, it reset my bar. Okay. I don't know how freelance gigs work. 
because it says computer experts one trade freelance programmer maybe one is how many gigs i've completed and the performance is average i think it like reset my bar even though i had it all the way maxed out well maybe i'll try doing this one the real way or maybe i'll just bribe my boss for performance before i get a gig maybe that will work because i had that all the way across and now it seems like it reset it to back further but it didn't give me anything for it Okay, maybe we'll take a low-level gig just to see if we can complete it faster. Okay, we finished another gig. And our bar is not maxed again. Oh, and we're computer experts too. So how far does this go up? How far should we go? Okay, we got another gig. And we need to study security systems, hack hosting service, and write report. Okay, Carla hacked her target and was able to acquire zero simoleons from its accounts. Her programming level is max. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, now she's computer expert three. Well, I wonder what happens when you get to nine or ten. I still don't know how far we should go with these. I think because of the way that she can bribe for performance that maybe we should get them all to level 10. Okay, time for the Finchwick Fair. This encrypting a file doesn't seem to go very quickly and I have to do it five times? That is a lot. Okay, good. My pie has some time left on it. Looks like four hours, so I can take that. And then I want something that's probably not going to get a very good result. Maybe one of the small aubergines that I had just bought from the grocery store. Oh no, this is the garden competition. Okay, so this is just regular crops, not oversized crops. Okay, I always forget that. Okay, we'll take a normal cherry with us. I think that's not a common plant, but it's also not a rare one. Okay, we will submit two entries. Oh, someone else has a death flower? Yeah, that one's going to win. What are you doing over here? You teleported over there, and now you've got to wait for this little child to come and say something to you. This game is so glitchy. Come on. I said cancel that interaction. <laughs> She's not canceling. Come on, you're not going to get to... She's got to wait for the kid to come over there. So then she can go over here and submit her entries. Fine. All right, let's not talk to people. Let's just try to get this done. Are there any elders around? Oh, look who it is. It's Caitlin. I didn't recognize her in that outfit. That's a towny outfit. Okay, so Angelique Arse... Oh, Ark? Arse? I don't know. That name, that last name is questionable. Anyway, let's see. She's right there. You should be able to go and ask her out. Oh, no, and she didn't like her. That's not good. Come on. I'm like best friends with both of them. Why did that not work? Okay, let's try someone else. Okay, these two people are here, so hopefully they will hook up. No, I don't get it. It doesn't really give me that many choices to hook up with people because unfortunately, it seems like you have to know them or sometimes I don't even have to know them. It's like maybe they're not romantically attracted to the other people or something. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't pop up with everyone in the area as a choice. So we're going to discuss our fears so that we can get over the fear of death. Okay, maybe we'll try and hook up Caitlin with someone. <laughs> no, no one's accepting my hookups. Come on, someone's got to accept it. No, no one likes 
I mean, they all agreed to ask, but then no one will actually accept it. Okay, what if I ask this person to hook up with Caitlin? Because I know that Caitlin actually likes women because I've gone out with her a couple of times. And I'm good friends with her and good friends with Caitlin. So can we have at least one person accept my attempt? And she's not going over there. Caitlin is over here, or she was. Where did she go? She left. Oh, come on. Well, it looks... Oh, no, she's over here. She's right there. Okay, we got some kind of competition award. Oh, we got a participation pie competition award, which I think we may have already had. And we got first place for the cherry? Really? I'm pretty sure I did not want first place. My plant won first place. I'm pretty sure I submitted a death flower before and I already have a first place ribbon. Okay, this is going to be harder than I thought. It's like you just roll a random number to try and get the ribbons. And I'm pretty sure that's what I got last time is a participation pie ribbon and a first place garden ribbon, which means I didn't get any new ribbons this time. And I'm gaining reputation fast when I'm introducing myself to other people. So that's what makes it hard for this breakup couples. Maybe I'll just have to move in some couples from the gallery or something and make them married because this is just annoying. Nobody wants to accept my hookups. Well, leave your suggestions for names for Carla's other children. And I will see you next week. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.